So when this video is released, Hydra update should have come out. So I've been on break on Mr. Iron Bar for like a solid month. And I thought, why not start off the return with a bang video? So it's been about a year since the last bang video. So a lot of progress has been made throughout this year, especially with a lot of the TOB stuff and a lot of the pet hunting related stuff that, yeah, the bank uh, in terms of items and resources has, I would say, skyrocketed overall. So I am looking forward to showing you guys the bank of Mr. Iron Bar now that it's maxed and whatnot. This should be exciting. So I'm just looking back at my old video from last year to figure out what my bank value was. So approximately a year ago it was at 5.6 billion and I'm sure it is way higher than that now. So I have been playing this account very consistently for the past uh, three years and a lot of stuff has happened. So a few things to note was that I mainly focused a lot on PBM goals. So my first major completion was probably God Wars back like two years ago. And then it was the race completion Chambers of Xerix and that was like a year ago and then recently I completed Theater of Blood all the items and stuff so with that all being said let's go to the bank and I'll show you guys everything I got I'll probably go to my house as well to show off all the other like extra pets and like some of the treasure trail stuff I guess as well so to do this bank video I'm gonna keep it pretty simple I'm gonna go through everything from the first tab to the right tab and then on each tab I'm just gonna go top to bottom left to right so we're on the first tab this is the most important tab because it's the tab that i have my most valuable items in and also the tab that i use the most in terms of the amount of items that i take out mostly for pvming uh, occasionally for clue scrolls but yeah definitely pvming so we have ourselves crafting cape construction cape i still use these even though i have a max cape because uh, single click teleports are really nice Max is a bit annoying when you're trying to go to one specific place continuously over and over again. So I have some food here, the Karen Bonds, the Anglefish, and the Locator Orb. I use it for Corporal Beast because I'm still looking for the Spectral, some uh, extra food. Most of this food is from Vorkath, the Manta Rays, when I was hunting for the pet. So I have 10 mil GP. I don't really use GP that much anymore. So yeah, that's 10 mil. You know, it's not much, but... It's enough for anything I need, really. So I have the max capes here. Recent additions to the bank. Regular max cape. Imbue god cape max cape. Already max cape. Assembler max cape. Inferno max cape. So I have some uh, staminas here. They're just for clue scrolls mainly. Graceful. Really nice. You can't really, you know, go without graceful. Some diary stuff uh, just for traveling and whatnot. Some tools. Uh, some staffs just for convenience stuff. And yeah, a lot of uh, Slayer uh, things. I, I usually use Bone Crusher, you know, Soul Bear and all that stuff for Slayer. Uh, Explorer's Ring, same deal. So we got some more Teleport Necklaces. They're just super useful for TLB, Dragon's Medallion. Uh, I don't really use it much anymore because, you know, I don't I do not do TLB much. Uh, but Xerix Talisman, super useful for raids. I still do the Challenge Mode raids for the Dust. So uh, we got some more teleports here. So the salve amulets, they were mainly for TOB, uh, just the regular ease. But they're just there now, I guess. I can probably put them away because I don't use them much. Glories, can't really go without glories for teleports. So lots of teleport stuff. So these are really nice. Slayer Ring Eternal, Imbue Heart. Got those quite a while ago, but yeah, they're still pretty damn useful, especially the Imbue Heart. And we have all the uh, Zenite Jewelries here. Uh, recently got a lot of Anguish ornament kits, so I decided to just make, you know, two more. Because they're actually kind of fun when you want to just make use of them. So lots of the occult necklaces. I, I'm still doing Thermi because I need to get the pet for all my goals. Uh, down here is all the Cerberus boots. I haven't done Cerberus in forever, so that hasn't changed. Uh, Berserker Ring, Archer's Ring, Slayer Helm. Still the only uh, color set helm I got. Don't plan on changing it. So, Tanzanite Helm, I've gotten this years ago, and yeah, it's it's a staple in my bank. So down here we got two spirit shields. So these are all like a year plus ago, and I still don't have a spectral, so we're still looking for that. But yeah, two out of three spirit shields. Lots of bandos items. Haven't done bandos recently, but uh, yeah, don't really need much bandos. 
So we have gotten a lot of that. Uh, lots of just this year pieces. I have two sets basically. If I get another plate, that would be three sets. But yeah, I got a lot of these uh, during the time when I was grinding for the scythe. So we have four ancestral. It's kind of funny. Now you see two ancestral roll bottoms because it took me almost 2,000 raids, like 90% of them being solos just to get this one pants. And the worst thing is, is that like after the next 100 raids, because I did some with friends just for fun, I ended up getting another one. So I was like, what the fuck is going on, you know? So I'm still looking for the Armadillo pet. So my Armadillo uh, equipment has still been going up. I used to be three everything, but now I've gotten three more chain skirts. So, and of course the twisted bows, man. Like yikes, you know, fourteen hundred raids ish to get my first one, and then within like the next, I think four hundred, six hundred raids, I got two more. So, yeah, it's one of those like uh, ancestral pants trolls. Of course, blowpipe, right? I pair the range stuff together. So we got uh, all the mega rares, of course, the code dies. I've got a lot of code die insignias. I'll show you later, but yeah, four Elder Mauls. So I've got a lot of mega rares from raids, actually, a lot more than normal. So in that sense, I was pretty lucky. So we got the Scythe, the Vitzer, uh, the pretty recently, I guess, uh, about 650 TLB. So not too bad. This was the grind, you know, it took a while. Sanguinity Staff, of course, from TLB as well. So the Trident of the Swamp, guys. So this is not just, you know, the regular Trident of the Swamp. This is Enchanted or Enhanced or something. So that means I traded 10 Kraken Tentacles to make this bad boy. It holds about 20,000 charges versus the regular 2,500. Of course, the Grazi Rapier and the Fernie Defender. So nice, man. Huge upgrade from, like, say, a Whip. Uh, Art Life Course, Warhammer, one and only. Seven Dragon Claws. Yes, lots of dragon claws. It's crazy. And uh, all of the god swords, of course. Uh, everything here is just singles except Zami, because I'm still doing Zami boss right now uh, for the pet. And down here's two bludgeons. I was looking for the pet, so I ended up getting an extra one. The Zami spear, uh, Hosta, sorry. And I have 10 Zami spears. I have 2,000 Zami uh, KC, so this is actually not even that lucky or anything. Because uh, I think regularly, on average, it should be like, what, 17, 16 for 2,000 so? Uh, we got some Staff of the Deads. Uh, I can only afford to make two. I didn't have any more lights, so. So I have five Dragon Tons of Crossbows. I remember when they were like 30 mil at the time, and I had like all five. But yeah, now because of Warcath and stuff, and, and the Crossbow buff a while ago, it's insane price. Armadillo Crossbow, the one and only Ballista, like, kind of dead content. Uh, Carol's, uh, the Void set, super useful, to be honest with you. So, set Assembler, they're kind of recent, I guess, because Translator 2 is not the oldest content ever. So, we got uh, pretty much all the rings, DK's rings, Wildy rings. I don't have Ring of the Gods, so feel free to roast me on not having it. But to be honest with you, I, I don't have too much uses for it, so I just haven't been motivated to get it. But it's on my list. Also, we got the Dragon Shields, uh, Dragon Fire Shield, and the Dragon Fire Ward. So I got this when I was looking for the uh, Vorkat pet. So that's really nice, like 3,000 kills or something. But I don't have the Ancient Wyvern Shield just because it's not usable right now. I have nowhere to use it. Maybe Hydra will change that. Who knows? If it does, then I'll definitely go and grind it for sure. Uh, five Din's Bulwarks, uh, three Twisted Bucklers, Tone of Fire. So down here not really uh anything too specific you know just some steam staffs dust bow staff miss bow staff oh one of each from the superior so i actually have all the superior drops basically on here uh, a lot of ammunition i don't really use the regular diamond bolts anymore because uh forecast giving me a ton of dragon bolts versions so i use those instead Six thousand dragon arrows i used quite a bit uh, i used to have like a lot more than this so but yeah, I'm just saving these for now. 100k amethyst arrows, so these are the arrows I use mainly. So I got this from uh, mainly doing amethyst mining, as you can tell. I still have a lot more. I have like ores for like another 100k plus, so I'm, I'm chilling on good arrows for a long time. Uh, we got some darts here, dragon darts, not too much, so I don't use them much. I got 7,500 chins from 99 hunter grind for maxing. And down here is all this extra food. I don't really know exactly where I got all these from, but it's not important. I barely use them anyways. Cannon, uh, we got 46,000 granite cannonballs. Most of these cannonballs came from Corporal Beast. I'm still killing them, so I'm going to get more. 
94,000 granite dust from Grotesque Guardian pet hunting. Still looking for that. So I'm going to be getting more dust. Uh, Zami Brews. I use these for corpse specking. They're best in slot for that situation uh, with Warhammer specking and all that. So I'm not really sure what to call this secondary tab because it's kind of like items that is still useful, but they're like so niche that I rarely take them out. So these are just yeah leftover equipment that I might use once in a blue moon. Okay, third tab. So this is the master clue slash elite clue tab. So anytime I'm working on either of those clues, I will need one of these. You know, a lot of these are follow items and some of these are like emo clue items. All right, so let's move on to the secondary loot tab. So this is like, you know, highly prized loot that I just don't use anymore and they're just there, you know, they're just there. So we got a lot to talk about on this one. So I have the Elijah spare shoe, as you can tell over there, but I just kept the placeholder just cause it looks cool. So that's why it's there. So I have eight defender hills, one of them already being a defender, a lot of TOB of course. So two Kodai insignias, so three altogether, four black tourmaline core from Grotesque Guardian, still looking for the pets. So Onyx, most of these came from Tecton and Zora. So those are the only two places basically. Uh, we got a lot of Torn Prayer Scrolls. Uh, this is basically my lifetime Torn Prayer Scrolls. I haven't dropped any. All right, so 16 Dexterous Prayer Scrolls, 17 Arcane. I've had more, you know, I've talked about this in the past, but um, the reason why I'm able to upkeep my bonds on my characters, no problem, is because I drop traded like 10 of these, of each, I think, approximately. And I sold them for a lot of money in the GE. So yeah, I, I've had a ton of bonds from that. Because there was a time when deck scrolls were like 100 mil a pop for quite a while. So some champion scrolls. Um, yeah, not much. This only two. I played this game for years and years. I never got one until this account. So a lot of spare shields. While well, I'm looking for corp. So many fissages, dude. Like literally Vorkath, I've gotten, I think, three. Yeah, I've gotten three from Vorkath. I've gotten two from Wyverns, regular Wyverns. It's crazy, man. Took me like over 10,000 kills overall to get my first Fissy, and then the rest just followed. Five Dragon Bow necklaces. They're um, still waiting for them to be good, you know, to use them. Uh, Abyssal daggers from Sire Pet Hunting, uh, Sarah Sword. Five of them. Hasn't changed. Staff of the Dead. Wow, I actually have a lot of Staff of the Dead. It's five now from Zami. Yeah, it's about normal. Lots of Godsword Blades, lots of Tridents, Totems, Ancient Shards. Oh yeah, Tensei Mutagen. I got this quite a while ago too. But yeah, they're just sitting there. Uh, an Abyssal Head, first ever after like... Uh, I think it's like 20,000 Abyssal Demons, but I got this from Sire though. Lots of Vorkat's Heads, pretty normal for like, you know, 3,000 plus kills. 4,000 kills, I think. Calfi Queen Heads, uh, Karas Head, KBD, Dark Claw. Char Miasma, all my uh, leftover barrels items really hasn't changed because I haven't done barrels forever. So, Wilderness Shields, Dead Content now because I have better shields. And lots of dragon things. Um, yeah, most of these are just from Warcath. I'm not even gonna lie, especially the dragon legs and skirts. So, I have a ton of drone axes, uh, 13 drops of them, 9 harpoons, 6 swords. So, when Hydra comes out, all these three drops here, you see, they're going to be moved over to the newer Slayer monsters. Besides the Hydra, because there's like four other monsters. So, yeah, these are getting moved over there. So, when you do raids on this update, you'll no longer get these junk drops anymore. Although Harpoon really isn't too junky, but still, they, they moved it. So, alright, what we got here? Um, down here, some rings, uh, some DK stuff, some granite stuff. Ship it over here. So a lot of DK's rings. I'm still doing DK's for Dagonal for Expat, so I'm still getting a lot of rings. And down here is just all the other extra uh, alchemicals, whether it was from Slayer Tas or from like Corp and whatnot. So 10,000 Dragon Bolts extra from Vorkat. So it should last me quite a while, but I'll probably go back to Vorkat though if I do run out of these bolts. Will take a while. 11,000 Onyx Bolts, all from Corp. 250k Rune Arrows. I have way more. I sold like 300k. In the past, so yeah, 250k. You get these a lot from raids. I'm not sure where this is from. Adamant arrows? Somewhere. Uh, 10,000 dragon arrow tips. So I had 6,000 arrows, but yeah, I do have 10,000. Most of these came from Grotesque Guardians 
and I'm not sure, probably Vorkap. Same with darts, grotesque guardians and um, Vorkap as well, probably. Onyx bolt tips, probably from Thermi. A lot of these bolt tips, yeah, this one's from grotesque guardians, so. So this is uh, from us grinding 99 smithing. I just had leftovers. Emeralds, uh, ruby, amulet, unstrung, sapphire rings. Yeah, so these came from when I was grinding 99 crafting some time ago. Alright, so this tab uh, is the treasure trail tab that I can't fit in my house. I try my best to fit as much as I can in my house because bank space is precious. I'm only at like 40 left, so I try my best to keep it at 40. So we got almost full samurai, dude. Almost, because there's a boot. Uh, three Robin Hood has to gilded. So th these are my only gilded on here, right? Yeah, two gilded. Just some uh, hard clue stuff. A lot of these are hard clue. Uh, a lot of god pages. I still keep them, you know, they're nice to stack in the bank. And down here, yeah, they're not too interesting, except for some of the master clue stuff. All right, so next tab is the uh, runes and extra tools that I use once in a while. Lots and lots of runes. I don't want to go through all of it. Uh, so we got 200k chaos. I'm not sure where that's from. Probably Zora, I think. 282k blood runes. Uh, most of these came from the 99 rune crafting grind. 200k soul runes. Ah, that's that's an interesting one. I'm not sure where I got this from. Bound to be from Smoke Devil. Lots of that. And somewhere else. I rarely use soul runes, so they've been stacking up pretty easily. And uh, 3 million pure essence almost. Most of these are from raids. So yeah, it's kind of dumb how how much you get from PVM. It's just ridiculous. 31,000 cosmics, mostly from Corp, I believe. Raph runes, never used it before, but they're from Vorkath. Yeah, not much to talk about here. Uh, uh, yes, the Lucky Implings. So I haven't been collecting these, but for a while I was because I was really hoping uh, Jagex would buff these one day because currently these guys can give you anything. Like, so most of the drops you get from Lucky Implings are pretty bad, so I'm not going to open these until one day they buff it or something. Okay, so this one's a big one. This is the resource tab. It's quite huge here. The solar scales are constantly going up and down because I use the solar weapons all the time. And all these hides, let's just say they're from Vorkath. Honestly, Vorkath just is the new Zora. You just get resources like crazy. Crafting resources, at least. Um, lots of crystal keys. I mean, yeah. Like, what doesn't drop crystal keys anymore, right? So, uh, what else? Uh, 700k talk cool. Most of these are Inferno grinds and attempts. Lots of gems. Oh my god. And, and the funny thing is, I pretty much liquidated all my gems for 99 crafting. But I, I've got more, so um, I believe they're from raids, and I'm not sure what else drops gems. I'm sure there's a, another boss or two that drops them, so 10,000 more amethysts, as I mentioned. I still have those. 38k rune darts, mostly from forecast. Insane. Uh, Alright, what we got here? Still a lot of um, bars. We got a lot of gold left from the 99 smithing. Silver ore, stupid amounts from raids. 10,000 battle staffs, lots and lots of bones. But without the wilderness altar, I'm pretty sure I would have used most of these already. All right, so lots of insole heads, never got around to using it. Might honestly use these in the future. I doubt it though. Lots of planks. Um, I think they're from raids, yeah. Most of my resources, I'm not gonna lie, it's either from raids or like from Slayer, so. Lots of logs. Don't really know what to do with these, uh, besides maybe occasional bird houses. Still a lot of flax from Zora, of course. Uh, yeah, grape Zora. Jug of water. I think that's sire. Yeah, one sixty eight k saltpeter rates. Lots of salty rates, and some leftover uh, AFK magic log uh, fletching I used to do a long time ago. Don't bother with those anymore. Okay, another big one here is the herbs slash potions tab. So most of my herbs are directly from bossing. So yeah, not much to talk about there. Honestly, if you do a lot of PVM like me, uh, especially raids, uh, TLB, like Zoro, I guess, you'll get a ton of these. All right, so 7,000 vials of bloods. These are recent, you know, from like 650 rates, I've gone this much, basically. All right, so we got a lot of seeds as well. Lots and lots of seeds. You can tell I've barely been farming or else these seeds would be cleaned out on here, but yeah, I haven't. 
lots of tree seeds. I still farm these once in a while. Like I'm trying my best to actually uh, farm some of these fruit trees because they have a decent chance at the tangle root pet and I'm low key just looking for it. But yeah, lots of uh, wines of Zami, potato cactus. This is from TLB. All right, so that's it on that side of things. And here is the like active skilling tab. So like when I am doing active skilling on a specific skill, obviously, I move those resources, you know, out of the pile here and just uh, take them out here because that way there's less to see and easier for me to just like focus on whatever it is I need to grab out. So yeah, a lot of times I'm making darts, uh, a lot of times I'm mining so and smithing and creating some jewelry. So that's why they're all here. And the last tab is uh, active fishing. Yeah, I don't know why I dedicated tab to fishing. So of course, the thing you really want to see is the value of this bank. So I haven't checked myself. I honestly have not checked recently. So I it will be as surprised as you guys are. I'm gonna turn it on. Oh my god, dude, what the 14.4 billion. Oh my goodness. It's good enough that the people coding, you know, the price checker also can figure out untradeable prices. Yeah, yeah, they did see 1.4 bill. So I can't trade this because it's charged, right? But it doesn't matter. Runelight seems to be able to keep track of it. So that's actually impressive. I had like a five to six billion bank and a year to now I've gained about 10 billion, you know, like 9 billion, I guess. All right, I'm going to turn this off because I honestly don't like looking at the bank value too much. So I will turn this on again whenever I do another price check, maybe a year down the line, right? I'm kind of like a half-ass pet hunter. So what I mean by that is I'm only looking for specific ones that I think is going to be fun to grind. So I'll show you guys what pets I currently got. So I have Vorkath in my bank, but yeah, the two diagonal pets, Bandos, Sarah, Kelfi Queen, first pet by the way. Pet Kraken, uh, Snakeling, Zora, Jad, Hell Puppy, Orphan, Money Pets, a Bloodhound. So this was probably my luckiest pet. I got this at 50kc. Let me show you the, I guess, Treasure Tale stuff. I haven't done this before. But um, there's really not much because I don't do too many uh, easy clues. I did some for Trousers, but I haven't done it since. Some medium clue stuff, not too much over here. So barely anything filled except for a few headbands and boaters and stuff. Haven't done any medium clues in long time. So I've been mostly focusing on elites and masters. But the hard one's decent though. I got a decent amount of these filled. Um, not too much. Good. Trim glory. I wish I got this super early. Yep. All the god boots though at least. So that's cool. No dirt age. Never have gotten dirt age in my life. Elite clues. I'm still working on these. Uh, because they're one in five chance to do to get a master so it's definitely worth doing anyways if i'm not going to be uh turning them for masters and of course the master section this is uh the one that i've been working on the most most of the mass is completed now uh but yeah there's still a lot there's still a lot that i don't have so going forward i will be back on mr armbar for quite a while that is going to be it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching this bank video and i really hope you guys enjoyed the bank video if you did enjoy this video definitely let me know by liking the video and also i will be talking more about the plans of mr iron bar in terms of like the video uploads and stuff in the actual prize video that will be coming out hopefully very soon so i will be seeing you guys with some mr iron bar content very soon in the future featuring a lot of hydra so i hope you guys are looking forward to that many thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys later